I have a very narrow chamber. What's happening is the fire is being concentrated in a small area. Um, and because of that, this now becomes a thermomechanical um, machine. I can put a water transfer on here and keep my water by putting it on here because I have heat in a concentrated area. I can then use it to drive other things. Whereas a large stove, I don't have, uh, I haven't harnessed the fire as well. You know, I'm not able to take that energy as much. That's why this being small, it's because it's efficient to be small. And your stones typically are large because of it. Okay. Less clear soap buildup. This was, uh, this is rated if you're under, do you know what uh, particulates are? Okay. Particulates are the grams of the exhaust. EPA standard is 12.5. Stoves. This burns 1.9. They retested this because they've never had something below that. The reason why being this, um, the unit down in the bottom acts like a gasification unit. That's why when you look at this, you're not going to have that smoke. You will, however, have smoke when you're starting up from 0 to 200. As soon as you hit 200, it's clean. Oh, so this is changing. <laughs> What's that? It's just a change of state. It's so change, it is changing it's the state. It is changing the state. Um, but it is, uh, is basically it's burning clean, so it can replace your wood stoves if they're burning, uh, you know, if the excuse is if they're burning too much carbon or CO. This isn't. And it will burn efficiently as well. Where do you get like wood pellets? Do you make those? Uh, I don't make them. I have sources that I can direct you to. Uh, I have, if you want, if you have a pile of sawdust or uh, such, that I could uh, get equipment for you that you can make your own. That's what it's made for. Is, that's what it's made from, just sawdust? Saw, uh, two things. Sawdust that's kiln dried so there's not a lot of moisture and wood waste that's been ground down to solid rust. The uh, wood is, uh, to start off, is kiln dry to begin with. Uh, so you can kill, you can grind it down to sawdust and then compress it. Um, pellets are, uh, if you take a pellet, they are basically compressed wood. They are compressed sawdust, but in the compression they have a higher BTU rating than wood does because you don't have the air and you don't have the moisture. Hence, um, there's a term used, it's called 8500 BTUs. It doesn't mean that it burns at that, but under the pressure, it gives that amount. Um, it's just a rating. What that it's means like premium is... premium gasoline. What's yes. that? It's kind of like premium gasoline. It burns a whole lot better. This, uh, so you step up here. I think that's very well put. Okay, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like a premium gasoline. So... If you took a pound of this and a pound of uh, uh, wood, they would burn at a different rate. One would burn more creosote, and one would give off more fuel than the other. So that's the advantage. Plus, this is a renewable source. So to clean this, yeah. um, ash or whatever you have, you said some of it may travel a little bit up in here, so you're just tapping on it? I tap this down here, or I put a vacuum when it's cold and suck the back of this up. I put a T-section in here, you get in here. Now, I have, I don't have uh, one on display, I don't take one away on uh, display, but I do sell these with windows in the section. And if you, t other than the aesthetics, if you take the pin off and then open it up, you can get in these corners easier and then put the T-section here. What happens when flash gets in the corner, then it slows it down. Part of that is, um, I don't know if you have what area you're thinking of putting this, or do you have a, it's like a house or something? We, we have a cottage, and ours is freestanding right now, okay. and uh, it's just, to me, it's just not as efficient as it should be. So would you be starting in a cold environment? Okay, if you come over here. When you start this, particularly in a cold environment, there's a secondary chamber back here where oxygen comes in. What I do is I take a cap like this and I will shut this, uh, I will shut off any cold air coming in here while I'm igniting this. The reason being is 
if I'm sitting here with a torch and I'm trying to get cold air off of my out of my exhaust, I'm sucking all the cold air in. You don't need this to start the stove. What you do need is to get rid of the hot, the cold air and then ignite this. Otherwise, if you stand here with that off, it's going to be very slow and your fire's not going to get the momentum. You know how they have those little fans that reach a certain temperature and then they uh, they can be, uh, they can be mounted on here, on an angle, but you may be better to put a phone on the back, because what here you're doing is just pushing the air that's rising, you're not letting the heat drive it Yeah, that I haven't got to this is as, um, as manual as you get. I think this is I think this is the on and off button. Yeah. Can you light this thing without the uh, torch? No, 